Bad news. Bad news. It's like a giant S, right? Yeah. No, not Neil Planet S. No, it was like a giant S. It was like a big slinky yeah, thing. Yeah, it was the other one. Oh, God, it sucked. Hell. Oh. Okay, so this one doesn't have a backdoor entrance. Oh, dude. This looks like a retooled Brood War map. We played a couple games in that. This looks very similar to one of the maps. And there are vision, oh, vision blockers with the uh, little ravine there. Get a sneak attack path. Probe dropping a gateway. Probe being Protoss. And Etrinus going for the expansion. Not gonna get blocked there. Okay. We have Probe being nasty. And the Russian's opponent. <laughs> So the forge has gone down a little bit late here, so uh, Etrus probably will be able to react to this all right when he's, if, presuming he sees it soon. Spawning pool coming out. Uh, if a couple cannons get up, though. Hmm. Or if Probe forgets to build them by the time the hatchery finishes. Ah, he's. Hope he's moving over to check with the Overlord. It's going to be there real late. Once these get started, holding this is very, very hard. But they're, um, the, it doesn't, I don't think really the structure of the map actually lends itself all that well to this, as it does in some maps where you can just tuck things into a corner. Right. But, yeah, with those two cannons out, he should be able to cancel this pretty easily. And he cancel. does see the cannons, so. Cancel? Is he going to cancel? cancel? No, he knows the cannons are there. Cancel? Cancel? He let it cancel. finish. Uh-oh. Right. Now... <laughs> this thinks it's funny. Yep, and cannons working away on the natural there. And uh, moving directly into a roach horn from this. So let's see what the follow-up from Probe here is. He's getting a cybernetics core, burn down, cannon his own base as well as pylon. Now, I think with the ability to grab a couple Ravagers, I, this kind of early Roach army that a person can go for off of one base is a little bit stronger than it used to be. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much stronger. We'll find that out shortly, I believe. But kind of his main option at this point, unless he wants to try and expand to another location, which is going to be a little difficult with the place we're moving. The way this map is set up, not to mention there's actually a probe watching for that. Well, drone is moving to the south and is going to expand in the behind the vision blockers. So, this is <laughs> looking at this is very hard to detect unless you're uh, diligently checking for this. Or if he has anybody watching this lip of empty space right here with these palm trees on it next to where these uh, three drones are building, he would be able to see a drone transfer that could occur to such a base. But since that's not there, yeah, he can sneak that out. He would never know. Probe is uh, thinking a little too standard here, <laughs> waiting for the third location to drop, but uh, no, not happening this time. Thing is, he should expand soon still anyway, which means he's gonna he should at least start looking around the map pretty soon. Probe needs to expand as well, and you can see he's getting that accomplished. Twilight Council popping up, a few more gateways. So it looks like he wants to go into Blink, which this could be particularly interesting. Yeah, there it is. Going straight for Blink, yep. And hey, check it out. We have four Ravagers already on the field. These things are insane. Ooh. Yep. These are going to hurt. Probe's checking. He's getting suspicious. He knows that there should be a base by now, so he's starting to bounce around the map. He's checking the golds, checking the corners, but he's not checking in the bottom right. Not oh. for a while. That's like, like the last point on his list, and I think by the time he gets there, he's going to be in some trouble. Okay. Three stalkers actually firing into the middle of the base here, actually coming out. We've got to be real careful with that Ravager Blast. Can't hurt your own units with that thing. And the thing is straight up, these uh, Ravagers will do a lot better than Roaches will against stalkers. Oh, yeah. They do so much more damage in the range. Range is a huge, huge advantage. And uh, until, until Blink Consider finishes, faster. yeah, until Blink finishes too, the, uh, the Ravager shot can easily, easily take care of those stalkers. If he lands enough of them. Probe isn't paying attention. 
I feel like one of the things you can really kind of look at the Ravager shot as doing as is the type of space control. If your opponent doesn't move, he gets hit by a bunch of things. If he is moving, he's not shooting, which is precisely how you can utilize it. Oh man, one stalker going down. Man, this force is just too strong. I think he's got a force field out to try and mess with the army a little bit, but it's actually not doing a terrible amount. Remember, Ravagers, the Ravager Blast can actually... Oh, he's bombing zone a bit. It can kill force fields. So it can be used for that. Uh, did you get to see its application there? He's kind of moving this up now, so we can take his original land. There we go. Didn't lose, didn't lose anything but links that time. It's very good. I think pretty cost efficient here. Rough one. Well, Krug's yeah. going to bounce back up into his main base, and he's going to check down here, and he's going to find this expansion that he... He's going to be kind of not surprised to see. Yeah, that indicator on Chronobus is literally the best thing ever. I agree. Yes. <laughs> uh, when I was playing these oh, maps, I was like, oh, I really wish this was... He can't. He canceled the scout in that direction. Oh, oh no, wait, there we go. He re-rallied it. Re okay. I'm going to find out. Unfortunately, here comes the, the Doom Army from the top. He does have a few more units to defend here, as well as Photon Overcharge, which will help out a lot, as long as it doesn't die to a Ravager Blast early on. But uh, it seems that we have forces coming together. Is he going to go for an attack? Maybe. He could. He could easily shut this army down right now. Speedling's going to make a big difference. If he can get a good surround and then drop some Ravager shots on uh, the pinned units. Not necessarily the Stalkers. I think that the is he going is for here? Is he looking for like an alternate entrance? Oh, he's checking for ninja bases of his opponent i guess um, very smart his considering this has been third like <laughs> this is odd movement but here he comes We've got ravagers at the front as well he's putting down the force fields he can't kill those with a ravager oh. blast doesn't seem to be realizing that however he's just running into the force fields over and over again he does throw them out there he is able to hit the units though from an incredible range the force fields are actually not really helping the protoss as much as they normally would be and now he's having to back out of there interesting wonder why that happened hmm Probably misclicked trying to cover his escape there. Probe so the does. interesting thing, uh, alternate ways to do that engagement, by the way, obviously, yes, you can hit the force fields directly, but if you don't do that, you can just have your army engage his, walk forward with the Ravagers, and obliterate the probe line. Because those shots from the Ravagers actually one-shot them. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. If you're not paying attention. It'd be devastating. Hmm. Probe's got some sneaky setup here. He's got a pylon right outside the vision blocker next to Atronis's original natural. Of course, you know, the vast majority of the drones are not building up at that location. They are transferring up here. So if an attack does occur at this location, I think the potential for damage is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit of an awkward position for Probe as he's engaging down here. It's a little bit unsafe with his full army. So he's going to do a simple warp and do some basic damage. Let's see what he can get done. Yep, Entranus uh, saw this coming. Already transferred a bunch of drones to uh, max out the third. He's already constructing a fourth. He's not really building up his army anymore. He's gotten kind of sucked into macro mode, and Probe's forces are continuing to expand in number. Maybe really what he needs here. Maybe we have Roach popping out down here. Oh, well, minor error. Not going to mean too much in the long run. Zealots are going to take this down, and uh, Probe's heading up. Chicken for the fourth, or, well, third now, in this case. Hatchery is dead. He tries to attack at this location. Still, a lot of the army is just not up here. He's keeping the immortals back. Okay. I'm gonna wait for that to finish. No. Against the attack now. Let's see if the army of Etrinus actually go to respond immediately. Moving out. He's gonna do some a lot of damage to this, but he's gonna have to lose these units, I think, to kill it. Let's see if he commits. Now comes a Ravager attack. He's forcing it a micro away. He did do a lot of damage there. But, ooh, as you can see, the range on those Ravagers just. Picking off a unit. Probe really wants a space, but I don't think he's going to have it. Yep, Antronis, uh good defense there. He's got a good uh, reaction time. Atri only half dead, so Larva is... Any Larva he can get at this point is great. He's got a good, uh, good bank running. Probe building up his forces still with Immortals. Nobody venturing to build a Disruptor just yet. I'm gonna think of it, no Colossus either in any of the games we've had with Protoss. 
Hydralisk den morphing into a lurker. Oh, lurker den there. He's got a robotic space somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, oh, Link's dying out in the middle of the map by the watchtower. Scouting the army, I guess, ineffectually. Or running around it. Something. I think. I don't know. I don't think he really knew how many were in there. He ran his lings back into the immortals. Morphing up a lurker now. He's got a few more hydras out. So we have lurker ravager thing going on here. Don't know how effective lurkers are against protostians. I haven't really messed around with that as much. Still the same sort of deal though. Clustering up in a ball is pretty bad against them. Spreading out is a lot better. There's the force field. Still isn't shooting the force fields to clear them. A lurker on the map. Second one on the way. As long as he can get those burrowed before he pushes back up the ramp, it should be uh, should be a pretty easy fight. He's got one of them burrowed. Do you have any more? He's dead now. A lot of hydras. I just saw two. I think those are pretty gas heavy, just like the ravages are. Yeah. Okay. There's a second one. That's not burrowed it just yet. I used to do that in campaign whenever I made the things. <laughs> Just run him into the enemy and be like, oh, that's not good. They stop. I won anyway because my roaches are BS. Mm. There's a disruptor. It's gonna light up, run forward into the army, hit the hydra's where it hurts. Does a lot of damage to him, 120 damage. Guys, unfortunately, doing a huge. That's actually pretty easy to lost the Protoss. Still, nothing to destroy the force fields. He's distract directing his attacks against the forces of his opponent, which for the most part are beginning to break through the Zerg defense lines. Lurkers did some work, but uh, not not enough, unfortunately. The mortals pretty mortals strong showing here. off their shields briefly. And that's GG. That's GG's. It's too much.